Ooh, Solana, look at you coming down to that cheeky accumulation range. Ooh, look at this. Unbelievable scenes from Solana. We've just hit $27. I think we even put through a low of 26 over there. Actually crazy. Um, of course, this is terrible. I mean, this crash is immensely wild, much stronger than I anticipated it to be. But we did have this accumulation range here in preparation. Preparation? In preparation for it to effectively happen. And it has happened here. We can see Fib retracement. We came all the way below now the 0.786. Looking at the actual correction from top to bottom, it's just a 90% correction. And I say just 90%, of course, that's a humongous correction. But against the increase to the upside, it's still nothing. Um, and I suppose it's a typical altcoin correction as well, even for something as good as Solana. We just didn't get that bounce to the upside like we were expecting. The market is seeing continuation to the downside at the moment. Things are looking extremely bearish. And we're just gonna remove the Bollinger Bands for the sake of our lovely eyeballs because it looks a bit confusing. Trading spaghetti. And um, yeah, this is why I think this range between $20.96 and $29.28 is a key key level of accumulation is because the amount of consolidation and support we had here basically from around the 3rd of April 2021 to August 2021. Lots of consolidation, lots of uh, movement around here at that sort of $28 level. So this is a super, super sensitive area for Solana right now. And hopefully we don't see continuation to the downside. It is very, very possible. If we look at the weekly RSI, we're nearly oversold. We're sitting about 31 at the moment. Daily RSI, let's have a look what's going on. We can see we've not been this oversold since obviously May 12th. Before then, it was January 2022. So really, 2022 has just been an extremely bearish year. Solana has also corrected really hard. Now, why are we looking at this accumulation range? Well, the last time we came down to an accumulation range in an oversold position was basically in February 2022. Since then, we saw a bounce to the upside of about, what was it? 72%. So now we're looking at the same wave, guys. We're looking at another impulse wave that could effectively happen, pumping to the resistance up here. Even if it was $63, uh, sorry, gonna have to bear with me. Even if we came to like $63 there, I expect that we would still see um, a rejection to the downside which is probably quite likely at this point. So we're back on the chart, 158% um, potential pump, but of course we can see more downside potential looking at $20.67 uh, as a real, real typical bearish low, which would be a 25% movement to the downside. What if we lose this support, guys? What if we were to lose this 0.2 level, uh, this $20 level, shall I say? This is a sensitive level right here where we've got these wicks from April, from May, from, June, those three wicks right there that we can see, those capitulation wicks, if we lost that support level looking at $20, we'd be definitely coming down lower to the next sort of accumulation range, which I hate to say it, it's probably gonna be between whereabouts, about here and here. So this particular $12 to $12 range could also be an accumulation range, which I don't think is gonna happen right now. I do think we yet to see a bounce back to the upside. If we get a relief bounce, we'll be looking at coming up to around about $37 price level, or maybe even just the top of this particular descending wedge that we had. So I would expect some movement to the upside soon for Solana, maybe a little relief bounce followed by rejection and more continuation to the downside because things are bearish, things do not look good, but I'm sure so many whales are accumulating these blue chip projects right now. I would be doing the same if I had like infinite amounts of capital, I'd be trying to become a whale, like holy shite. So hourly time frame oversold still, we are still putting through a gigantic falling wedge here on this particular time frame, as you see, um, it could result in a nice pump. Well, really, it's actually like a, a broadening descending wedge. So extremely bearish times here for the cryptos. Um, of course, we could move this here to tell another picture or paint another story. Maybe that would be more correct, to be honest, because this was a swing low. So basically what we're looking at is this falling wedge here. Maybe it's gonna break out to the upside. I do expect something to happen in the market, like a small reversal, a small relief 
bounce but i do think the macro trend is still down so takeaways of this video is that we're in a real key accumulation range between twenty dollars and twenty nine dollars and it is a safe safe range to dollar cost average in here for solana as you see we're back down to these 2021 lows if we do lose this 20 dollar support level we will be basically coming down lower between 18 and 12 dollars though we would have to retest this 18 dollar as support first because we got a lot of support here from 25th february 2021 right there so it might happen that we just get a bounce to the upside temporarily then we see a continuation. I think market cycle bottom, like the true, true bottom. Oh, it's tough to say. It really is. True bottom, you know, come up, rejection, retest support here, come up. Maybe we trade in this range for a while uh, and then start seeing, you know, sort of just sideways trading between 15 and like 30 odd dollars. And that's when we start seeing the pop off to the upside in the future, like 2024 or so. Again, I'm going to show you. If we do come down that low to $12, you're looking at all these FIB extensions as the key levels of resistance. So I do think we'll make our way there slowly. Of course, 2025, we're looking at $500, $400, $300 Solanas, and that's without being hyper bullish. So I do expect that to happen. Very, very exciting if it does happen. Guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe as well. We'll be sticking around through the bear markets to help you navigate crypto. We're currently sitting at a 26.5K Bitcoin as well. Things are looking bearish, making our way down to that 200 week moving average little by little. So very, very turmoil times for crypto right now. Bloodbath, we see ETH is down 30% on its market cap. Bitcoin down 20%, BNB down 25%, Doge down 30%. So it's not just meme coins, it's not just shit coins. It's the entire crypto market. Bitcoin is way too heavily tied to the FTSE 100 stock markets. We've also got lots of macroeconomical pressures, you know extraneous pressures high interest high dxy lack of consumer and investor appetite because of all the fud and the news that's occurred lately like the terra luna fud so there's lots of things suppressing a bull market at the moment these things take time the contraction of emotion takes time as well if you look at the psychology of a market cycle that will also tell you so so yeah we're pretty much going to wrap up with this video make sure you do subscribe to the channel thank you so much for viewing hop into the discord down below say hello to the community also get yourself into those telegram channels so you don't miss out on the most comprehensive news insights latest market trends thank you guys stay crypto safe hit that notification bell become part of the notification nation let's make some money in this bear market let's turn bad into good peace